Hi, I'm Brooke Atterbury. I'm the Communications and Marketing Coordinator for the Town of Breckenridge. A few nights ago, we had a town council meeting, and I am joined by Jay Beckerman to talk about it. How are you today? Oh, fantastic. It's a gorgeous Thursday morning. Yes. We've had a bunch of snow. Early mm -hmm. season conditions are fantastic. I know, and I'm just excited that it's almost the weekend. That's so right. it's been a long week. So let's just get right into what we talked about on Tuesday. And let's start with our couple visitors um, and what they had to say about microtransit. Yes. And what was the company's name that came to visit us? Via. Via came mm -hmm. and presented uh, their microtransit plan. Uh, they have done these plans all across the country and have spent a lot of time in Colorado. And one of their biggest focuses is how to make bus stops everywhere mm -hmm. and to allow for uh, riders to be able to get from their home or from a point that doesn't have a transit stop to a transit stop. And they put out a really compelling uh, production and a program and uh, we're really excited to see this roll out throughout Summit County. Awesome. Yeah, I know it was really great to have them come in and talk about it and kind of understand a little bit more what microtransit could look like in our county. That's right. And it is really just the focus of trying to get more boots, more bikes, and mm -hmm. less cars. And if this is a opportunity to help our, our residents and the, our workforce uh, get more transit, uh, transit usage, then I think we're all for it. I agree. And I think that, you know, Having them come was very early stages and also, you know, they're just kind of starting that process. But I know they've done a lot of groundwork with like, you know, surveys and things like that. So I think it'll be really great for our community. I couldn't agree more. And this is something that Summit County has been very, very forceful on of thinking that this is the wave of the future. This mm -hmm. is a way to get more ridership out of transit. And we're really excited to support it and see where it comes. Awesome. I can't wait to see where that goes. Um, next, let's talk about sorry the ADA transition plan. What can you tell us about that? Yes, we had some consultants come in uh, about a year ago, over the last year, to really analyze what the Breckenridge um, accessibility looks like right mm -hmm. now and what hurdles there are for people uh, with accessibility issues. And we really uh, had such a great presentation by them. There's a lot of items that are very, very simple for us to fix as far as lowering coat hooks or, mm -hmm. um, or changing towel racks. And then there's some more challenging ones as far as at the Stephen uh, West Ice Arena and even here at Town Hall. Mm -hmm. And so this is a 10 to 20 year program that we'll have as top of mind as projects come and as staff has the uh, resources to, um, to implement some of the changes. We'll be talking a lot about that in the next year's uh, capital improvement plan to see where we can fit in the budget um, steps to, to become more accessible for our residents and our guests alike. Awesome. It's really nice to know that our staff and our town in general are really trying to prioritize ADA accessibility. Absolutely. It is. It's a top priority for us. It's something that needs to be top of mind for uh, the town on every step on any time that there's a project to use that as one more criteria to look at and one more lens. Amazing. Amazing work and I can't wait to see where that one goes as well. Um, kind of exciting is another housing project that is underway. What can you tell us about the runway development? The runway development is our, what we're calling our last large uh, workforce housing project that is available at t in town limits. And this is the area from Upper Blue Elementary to basically CMC or Blue 52. It is approximately 24 acres mm -hmm. and um, we're really, really excited to start the planning. Uh, Suzanne Allingera, along with Lori and Rick Holman, were there to present to us. Um, there is such a enthusiasm about creating more for sale workforce housing units that are um, for our workforce, for our residents. Um, and uh, yeah, we're really excited to see where that goes. It is early stages right now. We're looking between 100 and 140 total units. And um, yeah, it, it's a balance between maximizing that space, but mm -hmm. also making it livable for our residents. 
Yeah, I'm excited to see where that one goes, especially because I know there's been a lot of talk about runway and what's going to go on it, skier parking, the sledding hill, everyone is all interested in what is going on there. This is so true and we're in discussions with the ski area about mm -hmm. what happens to that free parking and where does that move to and, uh, and what does that look like moving in the future. Amazing, amazing work and I know it's super early so lots more discussions to be had about that. It is and we're, we are focused as a town to uh, reaching our goal for our 5,000 workforce housing units over, I'm sorry, 1,000 uh, workforce housing units over five years and uh, I think this will be a, a step closer for sure. Awesome. Well, you know, the holidays are coming up, town's getting a little busier, we have snow on our mountaintops, and we also have some events going on. What can you tell us about the events? Yes, we, one of my favorite events of the year is the lighting of Breckenridge. Mm -hmm. uh, you start with the, uh, the dog races, and then the, uh, the kid races, and then the races, Santa's, and the lighting of Breck. And that is December 12th? 7th. 7th, yes. yes. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, December 7th. Yes. And so uh, we'll see definitely increased occupancy for that. And it's just such a beautiful time of year to see everyone lining Main Street and in the uh, Riverwalks uh, area to see uh, Breckenridge get lit up. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. I know it's cold, but I love the lighting. That's so. right. And then we have Uller the following Thursday. Uh, yeah, uh, starting on the 12th, I the believe. 12th, yes. yes. Yeah, so super exciting, super busy in town, lots of parking. So, you know, take your time. That's right. And please use Mass Transit when you're coming in. And the Breck mm -hmm. Free Ride is a, a wonderful way to come into town uh, without bringing your car and trying to uh, find a place to park. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Brooke.